Well, we we're talking about the half pipe is certainly going to be one of the marquee events that you will see tonight in our primetime coverage. The Sean White, if you will, of designing half pipes and terrain parks actually operates here in North Lake Tahoe. And it's no surprise that the border and the designer are best of friends. Rip in a box will continue to design the next snow park for everyone. <laughs> So Gutterson's designed the snow park at North Star, also Sierra at Tahoe. He's done stuff in Colorado, all over the United States, even the world. In fact, Saturday he heads to France to design the X Games, the European version of the X Games in France as well. Snowboard cross taking center stage in less than 20 minutes in our primetime coverage tonight. And it's certainly been a fan favorite at Winter Olympics, but it's not part of another international competition. There's a special group of athletes based out of here in Lake Tahoe that are trying to change that. A, you know, huge event like the Paralympics, and so hopefully 2014 we'll have adapted snowboarding in there. Well, the Paralympic Games begin in Vancouver on March 12th. Brent Kimberly joining us now, and he is also a member of the Adaptive Action Sports. And Brent, the, the first question I have for you is something that everybody that's seen that video asked me about. If you didn't know that those were adaptive athletes, you would have no idea because the skill level is so impressive. Can you tell me a little bit more on how it works? Do you have a special prosthetic for you that? You bet. And Chris, and I do, I have a special prosthetic. Switching gears now, over the last couple of weeks, we've really tried to capture the spirit of Squaw Valley. So much lore and history here from hosting the 1960 Winter Olympic Games to all of the great skiers and snowboarders that come from here. But when you walk through the village, it seems like over the last couple of weeks, one name has always surfaced. It's Shane McConkey, who is considered the greatest freestyle skier to ever live and perhaps one of the most influential men in ski industry as well. He is also a free spirit that everyone seemed to love. He died in a base jumping incident in Italy last March. His presence here has certainly been missed, but he is not forgotten. Squaw Valley was not only Shane McConkey's home, I st but his spirit lives on in the mountains that he loved and friends that remain here and ski in his memory. At the top of KT-22, just off the top there, it's called Eagle's Nest. And up there is an eagle statue or memorial in honor of Shane. It was designed by his wife, Sherry. And being in the presence of that eagle, it, you can't help but stop and feel Shane's spirit, especially if you know that it's up there for him. Well, what's coming up this weekend is ski cross. Last night, you may have seen Seth Westcott win the gold medal in snow cross. It's the same sport, but this time it's on skis. Truckee resident Darren Rawls will be participating in the sport, and he's making the transition into that sport after one of the most successful careers and downhill skiing. Rawls, though, is coming off an injury. Just a couple of weeks ago, he dislocated his hip at the Winter X Games.